girls and guys, it's Presley, and today I wanted to talk about this topic for about a while now, and this topic is basically about idiot drivers. You know, some people who just don't know how to use their turn signals, or some people that just crash into each other without looking at the freaking road, and you know, stuff like that. Now, if you're younger, and that are just beginning to drive and you've made a couple of mistakes like speed over over the speed limit and accidentally bumped into something you know that, that that's okay you're just getting the hang of things and you're gonna have to pay for that with a little bit in car insurance if you have car insurance but uh those are just little mistakes and then we got those people that just don't have a care in the world that just bump into each other, bump into another car without thinking about it, without looking at the road. They text while driving or they call on the phone while driving. It's ridiculous. And it's kind of annoying, especially those cars that like drive really slow, like, like really slow, like when you're in front of the car. Like if you're driving and you're in front of a car that's driving really slow, you're trying to like pass them so you don't have to deal with their their crap and stuff because you probably have somewhere to go. That's happened before to you, right? Anyway, that person just that just slowly is slowly driving in your in your thinking in your head. Come on, move already. Stuff like that, you know. That happens to a lot of people. And you know, and you know it, because it's called road rage. The most common sign of, well, life. It's called life. You know, some people just don't know how to drive. But my advice to you young kids, if you're just driving and you made a little mistakes, that's okay, but just be more careful. Because you know, you could end up, um, costing someone else's life or your own and it could be in danger it could be a dangerous thing so just be a little more careful and you know just do a little more practice before you can actually do the real thing even if you pass your driving your driver's test just be sure to do a little more practice then you can go on the real thing you know you don't you do not want someone to get super nervous and then be like, oh my gosh, and stuff like that, you know? You just wanna be fully prepared, you know what you're doing. Meanwhile, some of those other people, they don't care, they just, just do whatever the heck they want. And my suggestion for you guys is, if, if some of you don't care and just don't don't know the rules and everything else my suggestion is to you stay off the wheel take the bus it'd be best for you too I'm sure it would I mean if you gotten plenty if you got like so many tickets so many warnings and you've probably been to jail a few times it'd be best if you not drive Go to take the bus. Maybe be a passenger for a while. I don't know how long, but as long as you get your act together, that's all I'm saying. I'm trying to say this in a calm, affirming manner. Like, I don't want to be controversial about it. Just, just want to let you guys know, if you ever come across people like that, people that just bump into each other, be careful, okay? You young kids, if you're starting to drive, just be careful. They got airbags in the car for a reason. You know, just just be safe out there, all right? You know, bad things can happen. You've seen those, some, some of you guys have seen those compilations of idiot drivers, you know? Like people banging into each other, windshields smashed, and cars are damaged. All that, all that jazz, you know? It's just, it's crazy how much 
someone can be just so so idiotic when it comes to driving maybe they're off somewhere else i don't know i don't know it could be it could be something i don't know i'm not i'm not i'm not them i don't know what their lifestyle is and that's okay i don't need to know anyway that's all i need to talk about and uh yeah, you drivers out there, be safe. And if you drivers are still causing mayhem and chaos, take the bus. Lord, it'll save your soul. Man, I'm surprised you guys aren't even dead. If you if you made a bunch of car crashes and gotten plenty of tickets and probably been to jail one or two times. I'm surprised you're not dead. Or your friends aren't even dead. This is why you don't drink and drive. You don't do anything crazy on the wheel while you're driving. You look at the road straight ahead. It's not that hard. Now this is why. This is why I am not driving. I don't feel like driving because I don't want to put anyone else at risk or myself at risk or damage someone else's property. Besides, it'd be best for me to just be passenger and someone else drive me everywhere. It'd be, it'd be better. Besides, I feel like driving gives me a lot of anxiety, even though if I, I've never been on the wheel before. I feel like it gives me anxiety enough as it is. But it'd be best if, I stay, if I'm staying off the wheel. And that's okay. Not a whole lot of people drive anyway. That's fine. Not everybody wants to drive. And that's okay. If you, if you don't want to drive, that's okay. You still got a bus. You still got... Your closest friend or your parent to like take you whatever you know anyway i'm ending this video here like comment share subscribe all that jazz and uh, i'll see you guys in the next video peace